Well hi folks, thank you for tuning in to our latest Sunday sermon. I'm going to begin by reading a couple of verses to you from Psalm 46. Psalm 46 says this, God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Therefore we will not fear, even if the earth gives way and the mountains should crumble into the sea. Over the last two or three months, a state of fear and panic has swept rapidly across this world. The likes of which I have never personally experienced before in my lifetime, and I'm sure many of you who are watching the video feel exactly the same. You've never experienced anything like this before. We are travelling down a road that we've never been down before and we just don't know what is going to happen next. And maybe some of you who are watching this video today, deep down inside, if you're honest, you would have to admit that you're frightened and you're worried about what is going on in the world right now. And you're troubled and you're anxious and you're concerned about where things are heading and what's going to happen in the future. Well, whether it is the great global issue of the coronavirus that is bothering you or whether it is maybe a, a matter that is much more personal and something much closer to home that is troubling you and causing you sleepless nights, I've got good news for you today. Because while there is no cure or vaccine for the coronavirus right now, and it might be some time before there is one, the Bible says that there is an antidote to fear. An effective antidote to fear. And the effective antidote to fear is faith. And so what the world needs right now, more than anything else, is a great big injection of faith. And you know, it's not faith in ourselves that we need. And it's not even faith in one another that we require right now, because if this situation has taught us anything, and I'm sure it's taught us many things, but if it's taught us anything, it's taught us just how weak and how helpless we are. How frail and, and feeble and fragile we are as human beings. And, and so it's not faith in ourselves or faith in one another that we require. It's faith in a much higher power that we need. It's faith in God. It's faith in God that this world needs right now. Faith in the God who made us. Faith in the God who knows all about us. Faith in the God who loves us. Faith in the God who sent his own son to die for us upon a cross. Faith in a God who is bigger than all of our problems and greater than all of our fears. It's faith in him, faith in God that we need to have right now in our time of desperate need. And yet the sad thing is, if we think about it just now, for many, many years, this world has turned its back on God. This world has abandoned God. And for many years, nations, including our own, sadly, have wanted nothing to do with God. And wanted nothing to do with his laws and his ways and his standards. And for many years, individuals, individuals like me, individuals like each one of you who are watching this video today, we've decided, we've chosen to live our lives without God. We've thought we could get by fine without God in our lives. And well, here we are. And what a mess, what a mess the world is in today. And this situation that we find ourselves in should be a worldwide wake up call to the entire population of this planet that we really, really do need God. The God that we've ignored, the God that we've turned our backs on, the God that we've wanted nothing to do with, the God we thought we could get by without. This situation is a wake-up call that we really, really do need God in our lives. 
and it should cause us to turn to him, to, to turn away from the sinful things in our lives that are offensive to him, to turn away from the things that we've brought into our lives and come to worship instead of him. And it should cause us to turn back to him and to humbly confess our faults and our failures and our sin to him and to put our trust in his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. The one who, who left heaven and came down into this world and lived a perfect life and who eventually went to a cross and died to pay the penalty for mankind's sin and took the punishment, the judgment that we were due for all the wrong that we've done in our lives and then triumphantly rose from the dead on the third day. It should cause us to turn to him and to trust in him, to believe in him, to have faith in him, to depend on him, to rely on him, to give our lives over to him so that we might obtain forgiveness from God. You know, that's what we need. We need forgiveness from God for the way that we've lived our lives and for the fact that we've, we've lived our lives without him and we've chosen to ignore him. We need forgiveness. And we need to come to Jesus Christ in faith to receive that forgiveness. And we need to come to him in faith that we might come to know God in a real and personal and life-changing way. And we need to come to him in faith that we might have the assurance, the guarantee of a home in heaven in the future when life comes to an end. And you know, those who come to place their faith and trust in him can say with confidence in whatever circumstances they pass through in life, however awful they might be, they can say that God is our refuge and our strength. He is an ever-present help in times of trouble. Therefore, because of that, we will not fear, even if the earth gives way and the mountains should crumble into the sea. Remember, friends, the effective antidote to fear is faith, not in ourselves, not in others, but in God. And I would appeal to you today, if you've never done so before, to turn to God in faith, to come before him in prayer, to have an honest conversation with God about your life, to confess your faults and failures and sin, and to put your trust in Jesus Christ, so that you might say that God is your refuge and your strength, so that he might become an ever-present help to you in times of trouble. May God bless you as you think about these things today. And thank you again for watching this video. If there's anything that we've said that you're not sure about, if there's any questions that you've got, please, please feel free to get in touch.